In the early days of the motion picture industry, all of the important movies were being shot in one of two places, New York City and Birmingham, Alabama. Leading the charge in Birmingham was Jerry Wasserstein and his fledgling company, U.S. Pictures and Film Incorporated. Wasserstein's company had already produced some of the most influential films of the era, including The Fire Truck and Little Sewer Line Worker. It's hard to imagine, really, what our industry would be like today without the films that Jerry Wasserstein made while he was in Birmingham. His vision was to make Alabama the world capital of the movie business. But in 1914, all that would change. Wasserstein had personally overseen pre-production on what was to be the last of the Birmingham movies, a small slapstick comedy called The Guys in the Yard. Guys in the Yard had this scene where there are these three construction workers carrying this 10-foot pipe. And the scene is hysterical. But the real story is about that pipe. The pipe had to be evenly balanced and strong enough to hold up take after take. Uh, pipe at that time was very heavy and clunky, uh, but one of Wasserstein's partners, Andrew McNeil, had a lot of experience in iron manufacturing, and uh, they started talking to a French engineer named uh, Dimitri Delaveau, who had developed a technique to spin molten iron using uh, centrifugal force. Uh, making the walls more uniform. And they created the perfect pipe. The pipe carrying scene in The Guys in the Yard put Birmingham on the map, but not for the reasons Wasserstein had expected. There was no denying that McNeil was sitting on a gold mine. He was perfecting the centrifugal technology. Birmingham had a wealth of natural minerals and abundance of iron ore. I mean, the fit was perfect and he suddenly saw the potential for a very different Birmingham. McNeil secretly outlined a plan to the other partners to divest the company of all studio assets and convert the facility to a state-of-the-art iron pipe manufacturing plant. Wasserstein was famous for two things, his tremendous vision and his ferocious temper. Uh, and he said, uh, I came here to make movies and you guys just want to make pipe? And his partners basically looked at him and said, yeah, Jerry, that's exactly what we want to do. When we return, how Wasserstein turned the death of his dream into the birth of a whole new company.